The industry that regulates SD cards is working on a new standard, uh, SD8, which is, uh, I guess, nicknamed SD Express. And the Express version of SD cards will actually leverage PCIe 4.0, which means it is theoretically possible of doing speeds up to 4 gigabytes a second. That puts it very, very close to the speeds of SSDs. Uh, most SSDs in a computer on a PCIe bus are going to be at like 6 gigabytes per second. So uh, so this is, is pretty darn fast. It's not going to be in computers today. It's not, you know, it'll probably be a year or two before this kind of washes out. Uh, PCIe 4 isn't in most computers yet. Uh, so, but we're going to see it in the next year or two that these SD cards will be labeled with an EX will actually operate fast enough to be reasonable to work from. So, so a, uh, a lot of the comments on this article are talking about the heat. Uh, one of them saying you'd need a sub-zero freezer that you jump in when you want to use it. Would this generate a, a lot of heat because of the... It can. You know, even a regular USB key gets pretty hot when you write to it. It's the the reads are usually pretty cool. So it depends on what you're doing. Uh, if you're writing to it in your computer, I, I imagine it would generate some heat. But you get that with regular SSDs as well. You know, they all have temperature issues. Yeah, but this is like 10 times faster. Yeah. And it's but 10 times hotter, right? By, by And if you think it, it's in a little plastic case, it goes in a slot in the side of your computer or whatever, so it can breathe. I, I, I think it'd be fine. I do wonder if Apple will bring back the SD card slot, though. Like oh. if... If yeah, I viable. miss that. I miss that a lot. It's a nice feature. Now, if they do bring it back, you know it'll be like six thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just be, the wheels. <laughs> it'll be the SD like pi, like Apple or something. It'll be a specific form factor. Thunderbolt iCard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was that was it for a while. Like every single camera had it, uh, its own type of card, and so yeah, there were a couple of different standards that were out there, and they they come and go as as these things do. SD cards actually have been pretty standard, and you know you see them in. Raspies and uh, routers, they, all sorts of devices use them now. So if I buy one of these when they come out, my Raspberry Pi will be 10 times faster. Not unless they release a <laughs> Raspi with a full PCIe 4 bus, which, you know, right now, the, I think the memory card, uh, it, actually, Justin, you probably know better than me, isn't it on a USB 2 bus? I think so. Uh, maybe the 4s aren't, though. It might be USB 3. Yeah, even a USB 3, you're not going to get, yeah. you're not going to get those kind of speeds. But I do need to go ahead and start counterfeiting those. I'm going to make that money. <laughs> but I guess this is important, though, for, you know, if you're recording 4K video or something or, or you know, even as it moves on to 8K and stuff, you're you're going to need something that can handle this type of, of speed. Yeah. It, editing a video from an SD card today Ooh. is really not not realistic, right? You got to copy it to your computer and edit it that way. Yeah. But if you can get higher speeds like this, realistically, you could edit short videos right from the SD card. Oh, that'd be nice for saving space on your drive. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.